the commentary actually ran away at me. So it was a hell of a performance. To, I've never ridden a horse to, you know, to run away, which can still win. So um, now he's settled great, and he's like you switch him on and off. He's very easy to train. You go as far as say he's, he's nearly got lazy in his races. Yeah, you could say that. Um, but at any race I ever ride him in, I always think they're not going fast enough, which is a, you know, when you see horses off the bridle last got four out, and you think they're not going quick enough, then you know you're on a very good one. Handles the track. Last year he actually slipped just when I kicked him in the belly to catch Rip Van Winkle, but um, he handles it. Goodwood, it, I think Goodwood, horses don't act if it's only on the top end. He's a steeper coming down the hill. It doesn't ride very steep from the, the first bend. Riding good winners obviously stimulates you, but in a race like this where it's going to be, you know, tactics are going to be of a premium, it's going to be even more exciting. That's what riding is all about. I've waited for my whole career to find a horse like this and probably won't find one like him again, but um, yeah, um, pressure's for tyres. Do you ride to beat Frankel or do you just ride your own race? I have to ride my horse first. That's, that's the first thing I have to do. And um, if he's good enough, he'll beat Frankel. I suppose you know, we all know, well we think we know with Frankel what he's going to do, you know, he has to, you know, he's blasted the last couple of twice. Yeah, I don't think he'll be ridden like Newmarket or Ascot, but um, I think he'll just ride a normal race. A lot, a lot of people haven't, or maybe they haven't noticed, but Camford or Frankel has a super turn of foot. When he actually kicked him in the belly in Ascot, he put eight lengths between us, and I was riding Dubawi Gold sitting second. And, he pulled away eight lengths clear from me. You know, he, he has got a serious turn of foot. If you were riding Frankel, how would you ride him? I'll go flat out. <laughs> <laughs> Without <laughs> doubt. <laughs> so what would you do on him? I just... I See, I don't know now than he did. Like Canford. Canford was a little bit immature at one time. Um, I think he's straightforward enough. I think the, the hype, and after the guineas run, oh, you couldn't do that again. But, Tom took the bull by the horns that day and won the race and it was a great piece of riding and um, he was a bit knocked after Rascott but that was circumstances too but I think he's pretty straightforward. I'll tell you what though Hughesy, if you had two heavyweights in the ring together you couldn't wish for one to have the way it to work out like it has with this horse who likes to be handy and you to drop in. Yeah it's, it's ideal, he's actually made for me uh, as a rider but um, I don't think there's a horse out there that would actually get Canford off the bride halfway through the race. Dick Turpin as well, obviously you can't ride two of them, it looks like he's going to turn out. Well, the, the interesting thing is that if we start playing cat and mouse, me and Tom, Dick Turpin will take full advantage and you have to remember I only beat him a neck in the St James Palace last year. Just mention some of the others because obviously you've got a, a good team there. Harbour Watch is a horse that I absolutely love. Yeah, you're not the only <laughs> one. <laughs> I loved, uh, He was very impressive in Salisbury and I loved the way he done it. But at the back of my mind, I was wondering, it's easy to do it in an ordinary race. But then um, Ryan took over in Newmarket and looked very impressive to the eye. How does he compare as that sort of stage with Strong Suit and, and Camford? And... Canford, you'd leave him aside. Okay. He's, I've never ridden anything like him ever from day one. Um, but he's as good a Strong Suit as we feel at that stage. He's done nothing wrong. Probably lacks a bit of experience, but... Those three, it's nice to that. Camford gift just looked in the most perfect. Uh, he just looked, he looked absolutely gorgeous yesterday. He is currently second favourite though, 11 to 8, 11 to 10. Frankel Zoffany is a 12 to 1 shot. Dick Turpin, whether he turns up or not, we you know, obviously remains to see 14 to 1. Uh, delegator, interestingly, delegator in there at 33. It now looks like the latest news is delegator will probably run in the Lennox stakes, which uh, which you can obviously understand. When you when you look at Canford Gifts of Franco, you know, why why take them on when you've you've obviously got a very, very good horse. But mouth watering prospect that race.